Now, if you run, rain is still going to hit you on your head and shoulders, mm -hmm. but for not as long. Right. But you now you have your entire surface area of the front of your body that's running into falling raindrops. Right. By the way, they're going to the moon's south pole, which is interesting. South pole. Water? Yes. The moon has been hit by comets and asteroids, and comets are uh, mostly water. Where does the water go after it hits? Well, if it's in sunlit, it evaporates to space. But if any of that water molecule lands in this dark of the base of the crater, we call it a cold trap, and it keeps the water forever. A slow accumulation of water molecules tells us, we not only theorize this, we sent orbiting sensors that have confirmed this, that there's scads of water at the base of these craters. So if you're gonna s send astronauts to pitch tent, do it in the South Pole where there's water. You can drink the water, you can separate the hydrogen and oxygen, make rocket fuel. There's a lot of things you can do. The very statement makes sense means your senses can contemplate it, that your senses have experience